attention. Good morning, Southeast Raleigh. I'm Elise Clark Johnson. And I'm Noah Dan's Water. Noah, do you have any tattoos or piercings? Uh, I have two earrings, but I really want some tattoos. I wonder how many people at Southeast have tattoos and piercings. Let's see. The students at Southeast Raleigh High School have piercings and tattoos, which is a new popular trend in Southeast Raleigh High School. We asked teachers and students how they felt about their tattoos and piercings. Look in the school and see. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag, saucy so drippin' swag goo. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag, saucy so drippin' swag goo. Oh. Piercings for students can include lips, nose, belly button, or ears. We asked different students about their thoughts on body piercings. I got my piercings to be different because most people have one piercing. I had one piercing at first, but I decided to get two just to be different. Will I get any other piercings? Um, actually, yes. As soon as I turn 18, because my parents won't let me now, I plan on getting a lot more in my okay. ear. Well, the bottom one, it didn't hurt as much as the top one since it's more of a bone up here. I think that they can be really beautiful artwork and I also think that they can be really damaging and disrespectful. No, I wouldn't get a tattoo, but I'm changing a lot, so I might change my mind in a week or two. My cousin and my brother, they got a lot of tattoos, so I just wanted one. Well, the first time I got my tattoo, I thought it would be like, I thought it would hurt. and. I felt like people were just saying that to get me all scared and hyped up. But um, I really like my tattoo. I wouldn't change it. So there you have it. Students and teachers at Southeast Raleigh High School have their own opinion of tattoos and piercings. This is Alice Adabari signing out with K9 News. Wow. I didn't know how many people have tattoos and piercings. Me neither. You know, Liz, I've been hearing a lot about the Greeks of Southeast lately. You too? So have I. I wonder what they're all about. You know, I really don't know. I think this show will give us a better understanding of the Greeks. Let's watch. Hi, I'm Jay Corn Freeman. I know you heard about the Greek organizations at our school, but who are they really? And what do they do to better our community? My organization is the best organization at Southeast Raleigh High School, and that's Kappa League. Alpha Gamma Xi. Kappa Leadership Development League. Sigma Beta Club. Alpha Gamma Xi. I'm a member of Rho Alpha Gamma. I'm in Sigma Beta. My organization is Alpha Gamma Psi. My organization is Theta Phi Psi. I'm in Theta Phi Delta. I got inducted last year in the winter term, so the last inductions that we had, which was my sophomore year. Uh, I got inducted into the Sigma Beta Club my freshman year. Um, I was inducted September 2011. I was inducted into the organization in January of 2011. I got inducted on uh, February of t uh, 2010. November 10, 2011. I kind of feel like I found it and it found me at the same time. I strive to be a young leader in the community and that's one of the goals that we support. I chose it because I knew some of my friends was in it uh, my freshman year. I wanted to be a part of it. Because I looked up to the other people that, were in, that was in it last year and the year before and stuff. Um, I chose Rho Alpha Gamma because they're a lot different than other high school organizations here at Southeast and we do a lot of community service and it's based on Stefan. Well, I chose this organization because um, previous, a couple of years ago, um, there were girls that I looked up to who were in the organization and they just 
they were basically like my role models and so that just made me want to be more interested in it. And I chose this organization at the time because of the community service and they were big on community service and on brotherhood. Because it's not like the other ones and it was the first line in Southeast. One of the big things we do is community service, but it's not really reaching out to the community so much, but it's have being there as a resource for the community. I don't want people to feel like they can't come and talk to me or any of my brothers about anything. We're just here for everyone and to help as much as we can. Well, we do uh, a lot of community service, like March of Dimes, a whole lot of cancer walks. Uh, we build posters for the Martin Luther King walk and stuff like that. Well, we do community service and we help out in the school. Like we um, picked up trash one day. Well, sometimes we pick up trash around in the parking lot and stuff. Um, we do a lot of community service at the soup kitchens and the homeless shelters. And we also host step shows and we also participate in step shows for other college homecomings. Some things that our, our organization has done is we've did the Haiti Relief, we've cleaned up the courtyard, we did the Martin Luther King Walk, and um, we also we also cleaned up the parking lot, um, and we have a lot more things that we're gonna do. We work with UNC TV and like little kids, and we just did something at the fair for the first week with UNC TV. We do community service like helping events like church and kids and school and daycares and stuff like that. So will you be the next one inducted into one of these organizations? I'm Jaquan Freeman, signing out. Back to you. I'm glad to know about the Greeks of Southeast. What's wrong, Noah? Nothing. I just thought about my friend who died from teen suicide. That's OK, Noah. Here, watch this. That helped me with dealing with my loss a lot. I'm glad, but guess what, Noah? What? On a brighter note, I hear there's an upcoming show called College Hill, Southeast Edition. Really? Well, I want to see a sneak preview. Here, watch this. Well, I'm Elise. And I'm Noah. Signing, Signing out, out with, with your K9 News. news.